was awesome, Kimberly. Thanks, Trini. <laughs> Who's here? Ball and skull. Hi, girls. How about that double date we talked about? Yeah. <laughs> what about? Sorry, guys. What's the matter? We're not good enough for you? Leave us alone, Bulk. Maria, we're not mad at you. Why did you turn up the hot water? I just wanted to get your attention. That's all. Maria, just be yourself. We'll be your friends no matter what you do. You will? Sure. That's what being friends are all about, right? Right. Now, how would you like to go on a picnic? Pack a giant basket and have lots of fun. What do you say? I hope you know what we're getting ourselves into. Thanks for being my friends, guys. My dad tries real hard, but there's things that he just doesn't understand. Know what I mean? Maria, anytime you want to talk, we'll listen, okay? Yeah. You know, that's what friends are all about. Thanks. So, who's the raddest boy in your class? Are you kidding? They're all dorks! Yes! Still <laughs> <laughs> <Sure>. learn. <laughs> Who are those guys? Oh, oh. Looks like we've got picnic crashers. Honey controllers. Maria, come here. Quick, get between us. What's going on? I think it's so cool that Miss Appleby put a picture of the Power Rangers inside the time capsule. <laughs> I know. I wonder what the people in the future would think of us. Watch your backs. Finish off. Yeah! Huh? <laughs> yeah! Huh? What happened? Where'd she go? Huh? Trini, I almost had him. He spoiled everything. If you throw your daggers at a 90 degree trajectory course, you'll be able to penetrate the dimension and also break the spell of jealousy. Billy is correct. It is possible, but you must hurry, Trini. If she stays in the dimensional warp too long, Kimberly will be lost forever. Good luck, Trini. I'm morphing back into action. Why do you still struggle, human? No one can help you now. Trini, will you ever forgive me for being such a brat? Of course I will. Our friendship is solid. A great gymnastics team. My really good friend Shauna's on it. Oh yeah, I can't wait to meet her. I know, I can't wait to see her. So, Aisha. Shauna, I'm so glad to see you. Yeah, I can tell. That's why you transferred, right? You know I couldn't do anything about that. But, you know, things have changed since I moved to Angel Grove. So I see. Um, I'm Kimberly. Aisha's told me a lot about you. So it looks like we're both competing for the district title, huh? I'd say we'll be competing for a lot more than that. I'm sorry. Wow, good move. That was really great. Thanks. Ooh. Wow, it's good to see you again, Aisha. You don't seem to have a broken finger. So why don't you ever call? Come on, Shauna, I try to call you. But we just keep missing each other. Well, whenever I call you, you're never home. Shauna, I'm sorry, I've just been really busy. Honestly. Look, um, you guys probably need some time to catch up, right? So I'm gonna go see how the boys are doing. It's nice to meet you. Kim, wait. I'd like her to get to know you. Come on, let's go chill out at the park for a while, okay? Okay. You guys known each other? I think we met in second grade. No, 
We've known each other since the first grade. I can't believe you don't remember. So I'm off a year. That doesn't change our friendship. Seems like it has. Sean and Kimberly, we can't just leave them there. I'll get them out, Aisha. The rest of you, you guys can go after the Josh's destruction. Save them, Tommy. She hates me. Aisha. Oh, I don't know what I've done, but Veronica flat out hates me. And that's why I didn't make the club. Scoot over. Why would Veronica hate as far as the club is concerned, I have no idea why you didn't get in. But you know what? I'm gonna find out, okay? Cheer up. It's not rich enough. And here I thought we were doing great. We've got a nice house. I don't need anything. I know, it's ridiculous. I just wanted to be honest with you. I can't believe there are people who think money makes you a better person. It's disgusting. Anyway, that's why I quit the club. You did? Mm-hmm. Judging people no matter what the reason is just totally uncool. You didn't have to do that. I know. Thanks, that means a lot. Angel Grove! I, I, I. What's wrong? I just can't get this harmony. It sounded good to me. Aisha, maybe you should get another partner. No, I've already entered our names in the contest. Aisha loves to write music. Both of you guys can sing. I think you guys have a great chance of winning that school song competition. Hey. You guys buy out the mall? Adam, if we're gonna sing in front of the school administration, we can't just wear anything. And we didn't know what to wear, so we thought we'd buy everything. <laughs> I suppose the shopping spree is just a way of relieving your anxiety about performing in public, is it? I'm ready. Like some warp CD outside. Mind, get into my groove, cause you're the kind that can really move. Now move! My songs are taking over your bodies, so not control your minds. Ah! What should we do? Oh, I don't know. Cool song. Here is Aisha and Catherine singing Angel. All right. Yeah. Yeah. to concur with the judges. Congratulations, girls. It's perfect for Angel Grove High. Is she always this friendly? Well, I haven't seen her since she was little. So I'm hoping that she just needs to adjust to living in a new place. Yeah, I know what that's like. 
Oh, thanks. And good luck. Thanks, Kat. Bye. You're scary. I hate auditions. Kat, come on. These girls don't stand a chance. You've been rehearsing for months. Yeah, but so have they. Do you know what it would mean to me getting into the Royal Academy? Yeah, Kat, you've been talking about it nonstop. Yeah, I guess I have been sort of into it. Am I driving everyone crazy? Look, just forget about it. Just have a great audition, and all will be forgiven. so shy. Well, look at it this way. He's been riding around in a spaceship for years, so he probably hasn't had much of a chance to date. Yeah, I guess you're right. But that doesn't mean he's not interested. So we're still on for practice, right? Mm, of course. Well, I'll see you at the semi deck mm -hmm. then. Hey, Cassie, um, have you washed my sheets yet? I've been a little busy. Hey, hey. You know I just cleaned this table before you sat down and messed it up. Sorry. Hey! I just mopped that floor. So what, that means it can never get dirty again? You can at least wait until it dries, you know. We clean, it gets dirty. We clean again, that's what happens. We clean? I don't see you with a mop. You and your acrylic nails. <laughs> I'm always the one cleaning. Always, no, I don't think so. I cleaned three weeks ago. Exactly, three years ago. Look, this week my duties were to check the systems and I'm done for today. You're not too bad. What is going on here? She's a pig. Miss Thing here doesn't like her duties. We all agreed to divide the duties. Well, I guess I changed my mind. You clean. Cassie, you okay? She's my best friend. I can't believe I got so mad at her. Over cleaning? We could use your help finding her. Yeah. Are you okay? Thanks to you. I was so worried. Maya, I got a lock on the energy readings. Great, I'll download them. Let's do it. Right. Stay alert, they're around here somewhere. Princess Trakina. You rangers are out of your league! We're not afraid of you! Hey! What's up? Maya! What do you think you're doing? I'm just 
did you do? Who said you could eat this? No one. <laughs> Since when do I need permission to eat? <sighs> you have no consideration for what I've done. I was hungry. Maya, that wasn't for you. I would share anything, but you must ask. Maybe in the jungle, people eat whatever they want. But around here, we ask first. Well, in the jungle, people are happy to share. I would have eaten something else, but there isn't anything else. Because you didn't go shopping. I, I can't believe this. It's my fault you ate my cake. Fine. I'll go shopping then. Here, you might as well finish it. Oh, God. Over there. You've got to morph. Now. Ready? Go. Go like this. <laughs> trouble, you found it. How did you two pests get inside the force field? You think you can keep us out? You're wrong. Yeah. Attack and destroy! Yeah! before we all run out of air. We need the others. He's too powerful. Fine, I'll stop him myself. Wait! Yeah. Wait, come back! Thanks. No problem. It was a birthday cake, wasn't it? Don't worry about it. I didn't know. Where I'm from, we don't celebrate birthdays. You don't? No. I'm sorry. No, I'm sorry. I completely overreacted. I forgot what a great friend you are to me. Tell you what, I'll help you make another one. Great. But first, we gotta find the source of this force field. mind. Oh, I gotta stop her. Wait, no. This is all happening because of me. Hey, come on. We pink rangers have to stick together, right? Right. And this is our quarters. Great. Wow. Talk about your 
deluxe spaceship. <laughs> Terra Venture is incredible. This is your bunk. And there's food in the kitchen. This is your home now. Listen, Maya. I don't know if I can be as good as Kendrick's. But I just want you to know that I am going to do the best I can. You're going to do just great. Kendrick's would be honored to have you take her place. Ilium, humerus, ribs, clavicle, scapula, cervical vertebra, mandible, frontal, temporal, zygomatic. Perfect. You've named every bone in the human body three times. You know, someday you're going to make a great doctor. If I can afford medical school. Come on, Kels. One more time. <laughs> Maybe I am a glitz girl. There you are. Are you OK? Kels, I had the most amazing day. You know that big fashion magazine? I'm the new glitz girl. I got to wear these super cool clothes, jewelry, and makeup. What happened to you? We tried to call you. But I guess you were busy. I am so sorry. <sighs> I feel so stupid. Well, I guess I could forgive you. Once. <laughs> Ooh, you're a little dirty. <laughs> that carnival was a blast. Yeah. <laughs> wow. It's me. really me. Wow, look at you. Hey. Aren't you the Glitz Girl? You are. Hey, everyone, it's the Glitz Girl. Hello? I don't care how much the top hairdresser costs. When I want something, I want it. Don't you understand? It's the fall fashion show. <laughs> My fans expect me to look fabulous. What? Your hair? That's what you dropped me for? Just because I care about the way I look, unlike some people. All right, what's going on here? Miss Supermodel here thinks her hair is more important than training. Why don't you just admit it? You're jealous. Jealous? I think this whole thing's gone so Oh, right. Hey, guys. What about the fashion show? My modeling days are over. Being a ranger is much more important. That's crazy. Jen, you have to be polite. I'm so scared. <laughs> 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 Maybe, but with only two rangers, you'll never stop me. 
my stuff. Oh no, peanuts. Excuse me. Excuse me. Excuse me, I want an explanation. I can't hear you. Chill till the song's over, okay? Not okay. You hold the laceless, tasteless trash dumpster boots out of my room. Okay. Here's a news flash for you, Missy. The big blue dog says it's not just your room anymore. What? Uh, what's going on here? Just a little discussion between roomies. <laughs> I'm not your roomie. You two can work out your little spat while you clean up this mess. On the double. Very funny, Jack. He's not smiling. According to the Ranger Academy Handbook, Section 5, Article 3.4, when the Red Ranger gives a command, that command shall be unquestioned and obeyed by all other Rangers. That is what the handbook says. Oh, come on. You're not buying into this whole Red Ranger's the boss of all of us thing, are you? I want it done before training. Have a nice day. What a jerk. <laughs> what are you doing? Mm. Mm. Watching you read. I don't think I even want to ask you why you're watching me read, but could you at least do it without chomping on your food? Toast. You want some? It's buttery. Buttery? Buttery. All right. Where is he, Z? Jack? Sky, Kruger, Boom, Grum, am I getting close? Peanuts! We're all out of peanuts, but I got some toast. Want some? It's buttery. No, peanuts! You know peanuts, the stuffed animal I've had since I was five? <laughs> You've only had that thing for a year? Very funny. Now, what did you do with him? I didn't take your peanuts. End of conversation.
understand your dilemma. Sorry, what dilemma? You find Ranger Series Red attractive because he represents the guy who can give you solid security. The boy next door, trustworthy, responsible, the kind you take home to mother. At the same time, you're hopelessly drawn to the excitement and danger of Ranger Series Black. The tortured and mysterious bad boy you think you can save. I don't think you... Comparing the raw data on a cuteness scale is also difficult. One scoring a solid 9, but the other registering the cuteness scale's maximum score of 10. Which one do you think is a 10? Why? Which one do you think is the 10? Dylan. All for Dylan. Well, Ranger Yellow, I guess that pretty much answers the statistical question regarding the number 10 we were discussing earlier, has it not? Cool password. So it must be something... Totally illogical. Give me one good reason why the two of us can can be friends. I don't like you. What is it exactly that, that you want? I want him. I had the strangest dream. We were on a date. Uh, that sounds like a nightmare. You too, Ranger Series Green. It's Ziggy. Ziggy. Z I G G Y. Password accepted. Summer. Oh, summer. What? Oh, thank goodness you made it. Are you okay? Yeah. Perfect. I had uh, everything under control. It's fine. So what was the password? It's the last thing you'd ever think. Mr. Marshmallow. Mr. Marshmallow? <laughs> what? <laughs> They're everywhere. I'm such a disaster. No, you're not. You're doing a nice thing. I'm so sorry. No, it was all my fault. I was being silly. I'm always messing things up. Pretty and pink. Wish I had a sardine sandwich to share with you. Oh, wait! I could rumble up a big, juicy burp. Yeah. Oh. Maybe I'll serve it up with a side of halitosis. Here it comes! I'm not the only samurai ranger that's been kidnapped today. No! Two samurai ranger brides are twice as nice, don't you think? How could this be? Pretty easily, actually. When Mia traded places with that real bride to protect her, we made sure she had double bride protection. So, when you came back to kidnap the real bride, guess who you ended up kidnapping instead? Jaden, we found the brides. But the warehouse, who went there? Our doubles. Simple power doubles! <laughs> Hell blast. Stop! Sure hope the guys show up soon. Me too. You're right. Fighting you naive little girls serves me no purpose. Don't worry. I'll be okay. No thanks to me. I understand. Seeing Dayu's past in that dream world, it must have been hard on you. That's the problem. I can't afford to let my feelings get in the way of our mission anymore. You're really being too hard on yourself. I like
like that. Me too. This is awesome. Let's go try them on. Okay, cool. Is this a tough look or what? Wow. Emily, interesting, but nah. But what? I'm just trying to be as tough as you and the others. <laughs> em, you're tough in your own way. Hey, has anyone seen my wallet? You dropped it in the store. Jonah. Orange monarch butterflies are migrating, and it's like a once-in-a-lifetime event. <gasps> hmm. I'll meet you a little later. Oh, order me a... I know, a low-fat cherry berry strawberry with carob chips, but no hot fudge. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> Where's this rare flower you want me to check out? Follow me. There it is. This is the Magnus Blumus annulus. It only flowers one day a year. One day. They're really hard to find. I can't believe we're seeing this. Wow. It's beautiful. I wonder why it blossoms for only one day. That's one of nature's secrets. It's things like this that make our planet so special. You want me to take a picture of you with the flower to prove you found it? What are best friends for? <laughs> Next, we'll take some pics together, but just for us. <laughs> They'd ruin my tough girl image. Yes, go say. Report immediately. We'll be right there. Monster knew they were at the Photoshop. She must have done something to them. Quit it. We've got a battle to win. Don't force it, Emma. They're not compatible. But we can't wait. What do you think you're doing? Good. My spell is working. Emma, what are you doing? You two are bitter enemies, and don't you forget it. Goal! Always been friends, and nothing happened between us to change that. It must have been a spell. After all, we've always had each other's backs. We're like sisters. There's no way we'd argue and hate each other. Unless we were being forced to hate each other. Emma, the power of friendship can break the spell. Uh, yes! You have now earned the Sky Brothers card. Thank you, Gosei. Now let's put it to work. Sky Brothers, activate! Summon Hawkzord, Terrazord, Crowzord. Sweet! Gia, I broke the spell over us, and now I'll break you free. Crow Blast! Gia! Emma? Are you okay? Yes, thanks to you. You broke the spell. 
You're the best. Are you ready to zap that bug with your best friend? You bet I am. back early. Is everything okay? What happened? Well, actually, something did happen. I came up with an idea for how to find the other Energems. Oh, really? I think you underestimate how difficult it is to find an Energem. <laughs> and I think you underestimate me. Ever since I first got here, I've been waiting tables, mopping floors, and being a pretty good pink ranger, if I do say so myself. But I've also got a lot of ideas going on up here. The problem is, no one will listen. OK, Shelby. I'm listening. Uh. Well, we can buy known facts about the five remaining dinosaurs. Climate, known breeding grounds, food sources, stuff I know with a global scan of the energy signatures for each of those dinosaurs' energems. That stuff I thought you could help me figure out. Global scan of energy signatures? Highly doubtful. Unless, of course, we... Yes. Hmm. That would require DNA samples, and the processing power required would limit us to just one dinosaur at a time. Are you going to watch or help? Hmm. Let's start with the Ankylosaurus, a bond into the Aqua Energem. Very well. Ankylosaurus it is. We'll extract a DNA sample from an Ankylosaurus fossil and blend that DNA with the energy signatures from your five dino chargers to create our first Ankylo charger. We'll build a machine to search for energy signatures that match the new Ankylo charger. This Dino charger should be able to temporarily power our machine while it searches for the Aqua Energem. Does that mean it could also locate and power the Ankylo Zord? Yes, theoretically. Voila! Hey guys, we're back. Mm. Welcome home, gentlemen. Hey. Find anything? I think I found poison ivy. Well, we had a very successful day. This is the Ankylo Charger. It's the brain that runs our new invention, the E-Tracer. Let me see that. Awesome! Yes! You did it! Whoa. It's using the satellite network, trying to find an Energem signature. It's searching for traces of the Aqua Energem. It's locking onto something. We created this problem together. Let's solve it together. I simply cannot be responsible for sending you down this hole. It's just too dangerous. <laughs> Maybe you can't, but I can! Stuck! Ah! All in one! Sting rage! Energize! We crushed it, Kendall. Yes, we did crush it. 
Because of your recent invention, the museum has a gift for you. A fossil from your favorite dinosaur. A Triceratops fossil? Uh, I don't recognize this bone. Uh, uh that is poop. <laughs> yes, Coda, it's a very rare specimen. Dino dung? Ew! have an attack mode! Whoa, you're right! Let's see what they can do! Great idea! Ah! Battle Morpher! Bow mode! Brody! Huh? Move! Arrow blast! Yeah. Oh, hi, Mom! What are you doing here? I thought I'd try to catch Bruiser too. What's going on? Ned is ruined. And the circuits are fried. It looks like it found something made of metal? Dad, I'm sorry. Looks like we have to wait for next year to go after Bruiser. Nonsense. I can help you fix that thing in no time. It'll be fun. I'm Sarah's mom, Jackie. You must be the handsome owner of this handsome drone. <clears throat> mom! Indeed I am. I heard you're quite the inventor, which means you're not only pretty, you're pretty smart. Okay, Dad. <laughs> Aaron Foster, Haley's dad. Let's get this drone working again so you can win this contest. Great idea. And then maybe we can grab a bite to eat. You know, just to say thank you. I, I would love that. You've got to be kidding me. Your parents? Not. Okay, their date will definitely go badly if we give them a little bit of dating advice. What do you mean? Well, my mom hates exotic foods, right? But you could tell your dad that she loves weird, unique food. Oh, I get it. And my dad gets motion sickness. And you could tell your mom that he loves rice. So, yes! <laughs> honey, 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 do you have a flathead screwdriver I can borrow? Sure, mommy. But first, I have such a good idea for your date. Oh, what's that? Well, hey, Dad, you know that restaurant that sells snails and grasshoppers? Yeah. Jackie likes that food? Loves it. <laughs> Run! I think I found something. Look, there it is. Quick, fire the net cannon. Dragging it into shore. We gotta go after him. Yeah. But we can't go to the warrior dome without a plan. Haley! Move it! Move it! You're nuts! Next group! I don't see Kelvin. Come on, come on, come on. Haley, the satellite dishes must be in there. I'll hold them off. Studying the Ravcon message, I heard a new word. Oh, a new word? Let's use the main screen. No, we don't have to. Stella Novar. Is that a star system where your people went? But why mention the cafe? Maybe they serve Ravcon like in stew. It's so good that it's actually worth mentioning in a distress call. What are you guys so excited about? Ravcon clues. What does Stella Novar Cafe mean to you? Just a teensy misunderstanding? Let me handle this. Uh, okay. No problem. Come on, Solon. Let's go make some lichen stew. Yum, yum, lichen in my tum tum. Oh, man. Thanks for the bailout. Oh, any progress on your college stuff? No. 
firm won't return my calls. And I just saw on her socials she's leaving for Oakdale early. When? This afternoon. Should I track her down? I don't know if I can let this go. Right to the final fury.